Hello everyone, this is just a little re-record of a tooth roll tutorial that I just did, but the audio was terrible. So we're doing this again. <laughs> so the number one thing I noticed that people struggle with when it comes to this trick is the setup. You don't know where to stand, you don't know where to position Spyro, and truthfully I get it. This is definitely not something that can just be winged. The setup is relatively precise. But once you understand what's going on with the trick and understand the inputs, it should all start to make sense. So we'll start with the guiding principles of the trick, and that's that Spyro's roll factors in momentum conservation, like a lot of other techniques in this game. So when I do a jump charge, you see Spyro slides on the floor like that. What we want to do is we want to roll out of that slide. And that roll is what is going to enable Spyro to get the massive height off of this tooth. The positioning is that we want Spyro to be rolling along this line of the tooth, this corner of the tooth here. We want Spyro to be rolling up that at such an angle that he's not going to get caught by the rest of this tooth and he's not going to slam into the ceiling here. So the position I use that works 90% of the time is I am standing on a texture seam here. You can see it quite clearly, starting from that tooth. And you see there is a dark spot on the texture seam here. We stand slightly to the left of it. So just about here, this is perfect. And we have Spyro's crest pointing to the corner of the tooth there. And it can be slightly to the right where a blue gem would be, but usually this is what works for me. And so from here, I'm just gonna save stay here just for safety. And so from here, we want to jump charge as fast as possible. And as soon as Spyro lands from the jump charge, we want to be holding right on the analog stick and rolling left. What the right turn does is that it gives Spyro's roll a little steer. It, it initially changes Spyro's facing direction so that he can get a perfect sideways roll up the tooth, but it also gives the roll a little bit of a steer just to guide Spyro out of the head a little bit easier. This is possible to do without the right hold, but it is infinitely more uh, more precise, and I don't recommend anyone try to practice that. So from here, that's why I save state it. This is not 100% guaranteed every time, I should add. Maybe I should move a little bit more forward here. That's the one. So the same frame Spyro hits the ground, you want to do those inputs. Hold right, left roll. Now, bear in mind this trick isn't frame perfect, but getting it as you know tight and as cleanly as possible is obviously going to factor in with a lot more height and a lot more success. So like all tricks, this is definitely something that just needs to be labbed out by the player because this is the this is only the setup that works for me. My understanding is that JX, another runner, he likes to set it up from here. He does a higher charge jump and then he rolls into it. And other runners, they'll do it from like here. You know, they'll point Sparrow's crest and they'll roll off that. You know, this is a very subjective trick, which is something you don't see very often in this game. But the success rate I have the highest is definitely with this setup here. So you can see there we've got slams into the ceiling there. That is definitely something you want to avoid. And that's where holding right comes in. So the difficulty with this trick compared to traditional TH skip is that it is a little bit slower to set up if you miss it. But once you're used to setting up from a consistent, consistent point, things should be okay for you. Definitely don't be afraid to wing it because you never know when you're just going to end up nailing things from the first try. Obviously, if you're really determined to, if you're on good pace and you really want to take your time, then take a, take a moment to set it up, but 
Otherwise this can be done without a setup. I have done it from coming out of the Nort Cove portal and just charging into it. So the number one thing I just have to suggest with this is take this advice, but do not be afraid to lab things out for yourself. If this setup does not feel comfortable to you, you don't have to do it. It can work with other setups. One last thing of note is that once you get the roll out of the head, a proper roll, let's get a, a decently high one. Like that. No, a little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. That'll do. So you'll notice Spyro's maximum height drops very quickly from once you hit the peak. And you really need to be prepared for that. Especially considering the angle the glide sends you at requires you to glide left into the head. So you definitely want to glide out of the roll earlier than you think. Otherwise your height is going to drop and you might not have enough height to make it in. But I suppose, other than that, that's all I really have to say on the trick. If you end up finding a setup that works for you with relatively good consistency wow we are really not getting this if you happen to find a setup that works for you really well uh, join the Spyro speedrunning discord and feel free to share it because this is still very much a strat that is in development you know this was only pulled off rta less than a month ago so we are still definitely looking for new avenues 